the scene before you is a lot of ceratopsids. Just a whole bunch of ceratopsids. Just a quick note from the editing desk. I'm sorry if it's a little bit disorienting because it's practically the exact same angle, but I apologize if you guys are getting tired of the low poly dino content. And the reason, of course, why I have to do these videos is because it's either these videos or nothing. I am doing very little else other than modeling and test printing dinos right now, and so I have to tell you about that because it's all I have to tell you about. But I have some other content in the works. I have some really exciting stuff coming in the upcoming week, so look forward to that. Still, it's I think it's interesting to talk about ways that you can use Blender and do some interesting things to reuse assets but get slightly different models from it, distinctly different models from it. So I hope that this information will help somebody. So let's go to the previously recorded video now. So when I started the Low Poly Dino Kickstarter, the Triceratops was one of the first three dinosaurs with the T-Rex and the Diplodocus. And I know, I know technically, the Triceratops is just an adolescent form of the Totosaurus. I know that stuff. But I still love the Triceratops. I mean, it was one of the original Dinobots, Power Rangers, heck, Land Before Time. Don't hate me for loving the Triceratops. It's, it's a great one. So it was in there in the original. Then, during the Kickstarter, I would throw up a whole list of dinos and have a survey and say, go ahead and pick your, your favorite guys. And whichever one won, I would take out because it won. And then whichever one was performing the lowest, I would also take out and I would throw two more dinos on the list. That way we had a manageable list of, for, of dinos for people to choose. And every time I put one of the dinos from the Ceratopsid family, these Ceratops dinosaurs, they always won first time they got in and in consequence of that there are now four dinosaurs out of the 39 models that we have in the low poly dino kickstarter four of them are ceratopses but here's the problem ceratops dinosaurs are only different in their horns and their frills but their bodies are identical and i didn't want to remake the bodies every time from scratch, but I also didn't want to take my dinosaurs and reuse assets from them. I wanted them to be unique among themselves. So I decided to go ahead with the Ceratops dinosaurs and reuse some assets so that they all have the same body, but rig it so that I compose them differently, so that they all present themselves differently, so that they all look a little different. So let's fly on over to Blender, and I'll show you a little bit about how I did that. So here we are in Blender, and I have my kind of generic Ceratops head here. And this is a generic Ceratops body, and the generic Ceratops legs. And the legs actually came from the remake that I did of the Triceratops. Originally, when I started this Kickstarter, the Triceratops, here's an example of the original model. I extruded the legs from the body, but then I changed it so that the legs were separate entities and booleaned on afterwards. I felt that that gave me a little bit more freedom to model, but it, it you know, technically maybe kind of broke the rules of low poly, but I I'm, I'm wasn't too worried about that. There's still low poly, so I'm, I'm good with it. And yes, for my generic Asaurus here, I, I just got rid of the horns, I got rid of the horn on the nose, no frills on the frill, and I kind of made a new body, but I reused the legs from the Triceratops. Then what I, else I did was I put a skeletal rig in here, and this skeletal rig can be, uh, well, I have to turn off pose position, so there we go. Uh, I can rotate this and move the legs around and rotate this and bend it at the knee and stuff like that. It's not perfect, but it's enough that it kind of gets the job done. And, and I, I was pretty happy with how it all turned out in the end. Then I'm going to unhide this because I have hiding in here. Where is it, guys? A whole bunch of dinosaurs. There they are. 
So I'll pull these up one at a time. This right here is the Cosmosaurus, as voted on by you guys. It's got, you know, some emo horns going down like, uh, I hate my hair flat across my head, so I consider that an emo haircut. I don't know why. <laughs> and uh, it's got some really cool horns out the side and then some nice ridges. And it's, it's a, I think it's a rather good looking dinosaur. And for the Cosmoceratops, I gave it its own pose. I'm not going to worry about putting them all in their poses. I just want to go through them right now. This is the Stratosaurus, and it has just the most fantastic horns poking out the top. You guys voted on this one as well. It's also got some ridges in the frills, and I dig it, and it's got, oh, such a fantastic nose horn. It doesn't have the horns over the eyebrows. It, it lacks those horns, but it makes up for them in the frill horns because, oh, those are cool. Let's see what else we got here. We've got a Windy Ceratops. The Windy Ceratops. I, I honestly didn't think you guys were going to vote for the Windy Ceratops, but you did. And so we got another one with horns that go down, but she's got ridges on the side. She's got the horns going out the top and a kind of flat, blunted nose. Pretty cool dinosaur. I dig it. Now, because I was reusing assets, because I was copying parts of these dinos over and over again, I decided, okay, I'm going to throw one more dino on the pile for you guys, just kind of a freebie for it. This is the Rubiosaurus. He's got these fantastic horns that touch in the middle, which I think is absolutely glorious. And again, fantastic nose, but no, no eyebrow horns. And so you guys are going to get, I've, I've just added another dinosaur to the list. I hope you guys will forgive me for reusing assets and accept this as an apology. So now instead of there being 39 models in the low poly dino Kickstarter, there are now 40 models in the low poly dino Kickstarter. And the thing is, I could keep going with the Ceratops. There are tons of them. For instance, the Regaloceratops. Look at this, this horn, this, this regal crown of ridges around the top of this thing. He is so cool. Absolutely cool. And yeah, I could do the Regaloceratops. I considered doing the Medusa Ceratops, but the horns on her frills kind of arch down as well as the horns on her eyebrows arch down and that would be nasty for overhang. I'd have to tip her head way back to get it to work. I, I decided not to do that, but there is, no, not that, there's the Sinoceratops. This guy was in Jurassic World and in Jurassic World, yeah, they gave him the holes in there, but it's pretty well accepted that they didn't have holes in their frills, that that was covered over by a membrane of of skin, but the the horns, like on his frill, like poked forward. You could tell that they were just like for ramming speed, and and it's a pretty cool dinosaur as well. And again, it was in Jurassic World, so I thought, hey, we should do that one. Uh, that's the Sinoceratops. There's the Pachylorhinosaurus, which is, I mean, he's got this incredible head and. I would have to edit the face, but I edited the face on all of them anyways. I made them all unique, even though they all kind of use the same vertices. But look at this guy. How cool is he? And he's got, like, the horns that, like, little horns that touch in the top and then go out. And he's just a really cool, I would love to add him, but it's just cool. The Pentaceratops. I don't know why he's called a Pentaceratops, but look at the frill on this guy. I mean, it is just so cool. Such a cool frill on the Pentaceratops. I, I would think, you know, Triceratops, Pentaceratops, but I don't see five distinct horns. I see the cheek horns, but they've all got those cheek horns. I don't know. There is the Archilosaurus with just amazing horns coming out the top of his frill and kind of a flatter nose, something going on there. Like the, his horn got cut off or something, maybe ancient poachers. I don't know. Uh, but it's a cool looking dinosaur. There's the Protoceratops, which is basically with no horns or frills. That's that's my generic ceratops that I that I made for, for doing all the rest of these on. Where is he? Yeah, that's that's that guy. I could I could like in one second do a pose for this guy 
and throw him on the pile too and have another dinosaur. Oh dear. Well, I, I hope that all you backers enjoy your 41 dinosaur models. And if you haven't backed, there is an option still to get all of these dinosaurs at, right now, it's at a pre-post Kickstarter because the Kickstarter hasn't cleared and I haven't finished making these dinosaurs. I'm still making and printing new dinosaurs as we speak. So you can get in now or you can wait. They'll be available later. That will be the post Kickstarter. I'll figure out how I'm selling them, getting them on a storefront, and we'll do that. And all of these models can be yours. If you want more information, be sure to check out the Kickstarter. Uh, link will be in the description. Now, 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 before we go. At the time that this video was recorded, the statements in it were accurate. However, after recording it, a couple of things changed. First of all, I modeled the Protosaurus, but I, in doing my research for the Protosaurus, discovered that yes, while it has no horns or nose horn, it's very commonly depicted as having hair on its tail, so I had to add that to the model, which means that this is slightly more complex than just what I indicated. Oh, all I have to do is just pose it and I'm done. Well, it turned out to be slightly more than that, but I dig him. I think this little hairy-tailed protoceratops is adorable. Absolutely love him. But one other thing happened. The last $100 backer decided that they wanted to see the Sinoceratops, which showed up in Jurassic World and actually took on the Carnosaurus, which is basically a half-sized Tyrannosaurus with horns and even shorter arms. Nevertheless, these two battled in Jurassic World. He was like, yes, I want that guy to make it into the low poly dinos. So he did, and I figured, oh, what the heck, while I'm adding one more, I will add the Regal Ceratops, because he's regal and look look at the just look at the regalness of the horns and he's so cool and I'm so happy that he gets to be a part of the Kickstarter. So we I not only added one more dino, I added one more bonus dino. That's it guys. I'm done adding adding dinos and models to this to this collection. This will be it. I, I've got to stop at some point or I will be modeling dinos for the rest of my life. So now the count is up to like 43. Good grief. <laughs> but there we go, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this ride. I have certainly enjoyed this ride. It's been awesome. But I hope that you're also looking forward next week to some more interesting content. I have some controversial content. I have some 3D printer reviews. And I have some other great 3D printing tips. So look forward to that in the coming weeks. Also, I am going to be rebuilding a new set. This, this, I will be leaving this place and going to a place specifically set aside for recording beautiful looking videos, but I've got to build it first. So there will probably be some videos in between. If not a slowdown in my videos, there will be some videos about that process coming soon. So I hope that you're looking forward to that. So thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon backers, and as always, safety first. I'll see you next time. So, man, that looks good. That just looks so good. Oh, I gotta work on that wallpaper now. Well, let's do it.